Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Elden Ring video. In this video, I'd like to show you my favorite way of farming a lot of runes in order to level up my characters a lot quicker. Now, uh, at first, I'm gonna explain what do you need, and then I'm gonna show you the entire route, right? So, uh, let's not waste time and jump right into it. Alright, just to show you, uh, this is a brand new character. He is uh, level 9, so it's a samurai, right? Uh, I already got my steed. If you don't know how to get the mount unit, uh, basically what you need to do once you get out on the first step, uh, you go to the Church of Ellen, then you navigate to the gate up front, you interact with the uh, Grace, and uh, Melina will appear. Basically, she will grant you... Um, uh, the mount right then optionally if you want you can uh, wait there until night time right there is a, an option at the grace to wait right so uh, past time nightfall so you put nightfall I'm gonna put morning so I don't have any bats flying around when I'm gonna show you how to get to another thing that you need uh, another ash of war basically which will increase your damage and your defense so once you've waited over here uh, to the night, then fast travel over there and you will find another NPC that will give you wolves, which is going to be a, an, an additional uh, sweet bonus. Afterwards, what you need to do, you will need to use your mount in order to get to this side of the cliff. That's where you can find an Ash of War called Golden Wow, which I made a separate video on it. So if you want to take a look, take a look, but I'm going to show you... Uh, how to get there from this spot right here. Uh, the map you can open if you go to the Great Ruins. There is uh, this statue over here and if you interact with it, it will unlock uh, the map so you can see uh, the entire map. Uh, let me show you the statue real quick. This is the statue right here, right? So you interact with it and done. Another thing is you can also uh, spend some time farming this place as well because you do have the ability to farm uh, some of those stones that you will use in order to uh, upgrade your weapons. So afterwards uh, we need to go to get to the uh, next area. So this is the way you need to go and uh, <clears throat> you will need to get that Ashen of War, right? So over here we're gonna have this uh, jumping thing. Do have in mind this, this video is gonna be pretty long uh, but it's uh, definitely useful. So this is our farming spot, these big giants. Each giant gives you 1,000 runes per kill. Also, uh, you may be lucky and uh, you will get a giant that has glowing eyes. And if that happens, then in that case, uh, you will get 5,000 for that guy. So you come over here, uh, so you follow the route, right? You bypass this sort of fort or whatever it is, like another uh, location which by the way is also uh, one of the spots that you will need to walk through in order to grind besides uh, if you're lucky enough you'll get some extra loot that will give you uh, 200 runes per armor I'll show you who you gotta kill and this is the guy that we need to kill ladies and gentlemen so let me try to kill him on level 9 uh, he will essentially as soon as he spot you he will use that vow by himself so make sure well I will try to get rid of him uh, super fast so he doesn't have the okay Shoot. once you drop him make sure to critical attack him from the horse there you go so now we got the golden bow there we go by the way, uh, you also need to get another Ashen uh, Grace not far from this place. So let's go back. Right. We go back down. Uh, back down. Go back through this fort. Now, those guys over there, you see those guys? If you kill them, you have the option to get their armor 
and their armor uh, costs 200 runes per, uh, to sell, right? But not their dagger. Dagger is 100 runes. And this guy as well, if you kill him uh, and you get his armor, it's also 200 runes per piece. Then you will need to navigate this way right here, and there is going to be a dungeon. This dungeon right here, and there's going to be a Holy Grace. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the same dungeon where you can get a talisman called the Assassin Dagger, which basically recovers your HP per uh, hit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it is the place, but hold on, let me double check. Yeah, I just double confirmed, uh, this is the same dungeon where you can get an additional Uchigatana. So, uh, since this is a Samurai class I started with, he already has the sword, but if I want to get another one, I can get it here in the same dungeon. Plus, I can get the talisman that, uh, per critical hit, uh, sort of revives my, uh, HP. So, from here, uh, you can use this same grace. So, let's interact with the grace. And... Go to Ashen War over here, put that thing, uh, and we're gonna put this thing. So, what this Graze does, wait, hold on, let's go. yeah, so what this Graze does, it increases your damage and defense by a bit, but it feels like uh, a lot, and definitely for those giants, this is something you will need, right? So, uh, your first thing. If you want to, like, you know, get more runes, try to get more loot, you can clear this area out, right? Uh, so, in order to make this video a little bit not that long, uh, I'm going to skip this place. But essentially, you have a few dudes over here, that uh, knight over there, and a few more dudes guarding those that cliff and dogs all over the damn place. Besides, you can also use your summons, so that will make your life easier. But our goal are the giants. So here are the giants, and with this vow. Oh man, I, f I forgot to do one thing. My bad. Sorry, we need to go back. Yeah, what I forgot to do is to have one, at least one uh, FP uh, regeneration flusk. FP, right? That's what it's called. I keep calling it mana. Yeah, FP, there you go. Now we got it. Uh, let me just once again ride to those giants. So you once again know the routes, you just follow this place. Right. Keep going up. Switch. And I'm going to show you which uh, giants I take out first. Uh, also very important to try to keep them separate. By the way, you can kill these uh, dudes over here to get the animal bones. You can kill, you can get uh, fragment runes, there are also crafting materials, you can make some rainbow arrows if you fish, if you want to kill these dudes. Uh, also arrows as well, as soon as you find the, the recipes for that. They are sold by the merchants, etc. So, we're done here. I start out with this dude, so... And I try not to put my aim on him. Because it's a lot easier for me to maneuver without, you know, this aim. This is what I'm talking about. So the first thing he's gonna stomp and try to... Okay, he's not stomping. Okay, this is even better when he does that. Oh, wow. That's a bad start for me. Usually I'm not that bad. Now he's picking up the sword, try to go behind him so you don't get hit by the wave thrown back. And there you go. 1,000 runes. Simple as that. Then... Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to put my flask, man. I'm an idiot. Okay. Fine. He's here. Let's deal with him. Ah. Try to hold like between his legs. 
you will get used to uh, fighting these guys as soon as you die a couple of times. But man, I gotta tell. Okay, he's picking up the sword. Stay behind him. There we go. All right, then what we need to do is put the flask on. Drink that, and let's go. Uh, so after this one, just to save up time, I'm gonna I'm not gonna fight the other giants. You can. S oh no, wait. There's another tip, uh, another trick. You see that statue over there? Uh, if you're uh, able to get one of the giants close to it, he will be able to destroy the dun uh, that the this statue, and you will get like I think six smithing stones. So uh, yeah, let's let's try to do that right now together. Because that's also useful and needed. Basically, what you can do is uh, upgrade your weapon to deal even more damage. Or, as I said, just grind that other location at the starting location. Those guys also drop. Oh, come on. Okay, he's picking up the sword. Whoa, what's up? Alright, we got him. Okay, you see the statue that's glowing? Let's try to break it. I, I did that by mistake, by the way, the first time. <laughs> Alright, man, come here. I need you to break the statue for me. I think he needs to have his sword off. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> there we go. So, let me finish this guy off and I'm going to say my final. Oh, no, when he jumps, trying to roll away. That, that thing hits hard. Control your stamina. The most important is to make sure he do not allow him to pick up his sword when he's like half HP. Because he, when he picks up his sword, he's a lot, a lot uh, harder to kill. So there we go. Pick up the item. So that's what? Six stones. There we go. Maybe even more. Anyway. Uh, so from here, you can go back to the church and upgrade your weapon to make you stronger. And then you just follow the same route all over, all over again and level up and and there goes magic. So from, from right now, we got 6,000 runes and on this level, uh, let's go, for example, with Dex, there you go. So that's what five levels straight off the bat. How do you like that? And then again, there are five giants. There are more locations with giants, but I prefer to kill those five and just restart real fast. So in that case, I can keep going with the route and have my dude like fully like you know. So now we can upgrade our weapon. There we go. Plus three. Beautiful. Now it's all maxed out. We're all good. So then what I do, I just go back to the catacombs and I do the same process again. So it, w using this method, you can get, you can like, if you messed up with your character, I don't, I don't currently know if you can reset your skills or not. Uh, I don't think so. But using this method, basically you can get your guy to level 50, like within a couple of hours like it's so simple now the other thing is as I said there are five giants so that's 5,000 rooms right per run and you saw uh, I was dealing pretty I was doing those guys pretty quick even with low level right uh, but there is another but uh, if you see an enemy and their eyes are glowing right uh, then uh, instead of 1,000 runes, it will give you 5,000 runes. So that's like you saved up. A, you can get a lot of runes, basically. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, man. There you go. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. And if you are new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for uh, watching this video. 
And, uh, yeah. By the way, as of the date of recording this video, my country is in war. And if you're feeling like you want to give uh, some support, I will leave two links to two official funds where you can make a, any type of don't. That, oh man. I'm already kind of got used to the bombing, man. But this one is <laughs> just <laughs> my house got shaken again. But that wasn't a bomb. That was actually uh, our guys shooting down the missile. But that thing is loud when they shoot. Anyway. Well, as I was saying, if you want to support us, uh, the links are down in the video description to the official funds, uh, to the military one and to humanitarian one. So if you can, anything helps. And thank you a lot for all the support. So, yeah, thanks all for watching. You all have a good Monday and night. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go.